Montez Sweat will make his Chicago Bears debut this upcoming Sunday against the New Orleans Saints on the road in the Bears Week 9 matchup. And he is, as he says, at his podium with a smile, ready to work. And by the way, earlier this week, Ryan Poles, the Chicago Bears general manager, made it known that he is speaking to both Jalen Johnson and Monte Sweat's parties on a contract extension. Great news, great vibes entering the Saints game after the big debacle for the last couple of days. And not only that, but rookie quarterback Tyson Bajit will get his third start in a row against the Saints. And I am super excited for this guy as this is the biggest challenge of his NFL career so far. Bears may also have some key starters coming back. And these two teams going against it this Sunday in New Orleans might be different in the record books with the Bears at 2-6 and six and the Saints at 4-4. Four and four. But on paper, they rank pretty close to each other from an offensive perspective. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Dick Brody, and as always, thank you for tuning in. In today's show, we are going to preview the Bears versus Saints game along with other Bears news for you guys. Can't wait to give it to you today. But with that, before we begin, please hit the like button on this video. Put your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, if you please could hit that subscribe button. I think the Bears can pull off an upset in New New Orleans. They've done it before. They can do it again. And I'm going to break down why. To start off with the bad news from an injury standpoint, Jaquan Brisker is in concussion protocol and is doubtful for this upcoming Sunday's game against the New Orleans Saints. It's weird because last week it started with Brisker having an illness and now it's concussion. So wasn't sure what happened there, but hopefully he gets better in a timely matter very serious injury hope brisker is okay tremaine edmonds who suffered a knee injury last week against the chargers after javon dexter senior ran into him is currently day-to-day -day, but likely to play this upcoming sunday against the saints braxton jones is still in the 21 day window could get some playing time this sunday eddie jackson has been practicing could play sunday as well josh blackwell is able to make his return but it hasn't been announced yet and from an injury standpoint that's about where everything is right now Monte Sweat extension could be happening very soon here. He didn't make much comments about it at the podium besides that he's ready to get to work for the Chicago Bears, which I think is something that the media is leaving out. This guy is excited to be a part of the organization. He's not worried about his extension right now. He just wants to play football. But then Poles came out and said himself that he currently is working on an extension for Sweat. So very good news there. And on top of that, Jalen Johnson came out and said he still wants to be a Chicago Bear. Ryan Poles then comes back and goes, I want him to be a Chicago Bear. We just need to come to an agreement. Apparently, there was a decent gap last time they talked, but after the Chargers game this past week, Johnson confirmed and Poles confirmed that the parties are talking. It sounds like they're making progress. So that's all the good news entering the Saints game. Now let's go over the Saints game. Like I said earlier, and in the title, Monte Sweat is going to be making his opening day debut for the Chicago Bears in New Orleans. Will he get a lot of playing time? I'm not too sure about that, but he is a plug-in type player and can get a lot of playing time out of the gate if the Bears want him to. I have a really good feeling about this guy out of the gate. He's professional. He's very lively. Everyone's talked super highly of him. A lot different than what Chase Claypool was. Ugh, I hate saying that name sometimes. And also the Bears gave a second round pick for him. So that extension is definitely going to happen. And they want to see what he can do on the field as soon as possible. Sweat will also wear the number 98. So Dominique Robinson doesn't have to worry about giving up his jersey number again. But Sweat brings a lot of answers to this team that's going to help the entire defensive line as a whole. He's a premier pass rusher. So he's going to get after the quarterback. And teams are going to have to plan around him. Also, teams haven't seen what he does in the Bears defense yet so there's gonna be a lot of trick plays there's gonna be a lot of confusion on the offense and this Saints offensive line is fifth uh worst at giving up sacks at 17 so far this season so that's great news for the Chicago Bears Bears are gonna have to stop that Saints offense they do have a lot of weapons still at the end of the day and Derek Carr is a respected veteran quarterback that knows how to get the job done so keep a lookout on what this team is going to do but the defensive line is going to be a huge factor in this game they're all healthy right now. Yannick Ngakwe could have a lot of pressure taken off of him. Same with Demarcus Walker. So we're going to see some pretty big stuff from this defensive line, hopefully this upcoming weekend. And Matt Eberfuss wants some heat taken off him. He's going to send the house and he's going to want to get a lot of sacks and all the good attention to go into Monte's sweat. Also, I want to see Jalen Johnson ball out this game. This guy wants to get paid. We want to see what his money's worth and absolutely would love to see a big game out of the fourth year corner that wants an extension. And he'll be a key factor 
factor to stopping that passing offense. Going over to the offense, this is Tyson Bajan's game where he's on currently an upswing in passing yards per game. It keeps going up, and I hope to see that they let him air it out more against his Saints defense. 232 passing yards last week against the Los Angeles Chargers is always a good number, and especially now that he broke 200. Hey, shoot, go for it, man. Go for 300 plus. Let's see what you can really do but I want to see him do what he did against the Raiders and slowly chip away at that defense, lose their confidence, make them think and have to spread out the defense a little bit more in order to cover the passing. That's what opens up the rest of the offense. I think Bage is going to have a good game. The, there's not been any media attention on him. He's been working with the ones for another week. He's getting in the groove of things, getting more comfortable. His offensive line staying healthy or getting healthier. So happy to hear that. And I hope that Bage can keep this up and have a big game against the Saints. But also, Deontay Foreman needs to be in that game plan. Luke Getze needs to get this guy going. You know, we just lost David Walker for firing him due to his behavior in the workplace. You know, Omar Young needs to be like, hey, give my guy the ball. We need to make this happen. We need to make this work. Same, you know, you get Foreman to go up and get those hard yards, and then you open it up, expand the offense of Darrington Evans and Rashawn Johnson. And finally, too, hopefully we're going to see more than 13 targets between DJ Moore, Darnell Mooney, and Tyler Scott. Those are your big play, first down, wide receiver type players. And I want Luke Getze and the entire offensive game planning squad in order to get them at least twice as many touches this upcoming week. That'll help this game a lot. So let's go to the rankings of both these teams. For the offenses, the Bears in the passing game rank 26, the Saints rank 9th. The running game, the Bears rank 6th, the Saints rank 20th. Points scored, the Bears rank 17th, the Saints rank 18th. Wow, I was not expecting that one when I was reading the ESPN rankings. Total yards, the Bears are 19th, Saints are 12th. So pretty even on the offensive standpoint. And, you know, obviously the passing game is dominated by the Saints, but the running game is dominated by the Bears. Two different types of offenses going at it, and it's going to be a fun show for both of them. The defense is a slightly different story, but the Bears are still respectful compared to the Saints. In the passing game, the Bears are ranked 29th. The Saints are ranked 7. Again, Tyson Bajan is going to have quite a challenge against this team. The running game, the Bears are ranked 3rd defensively. They are stopping everyone in front of them. The Saints 15th, so Deontay Foreman and squad can get some yards on these guys. Point score, the Bears have allowed 28th in the league. Saints 9th. Hopefully that number changes this upcoming Sunday and the Bears light it up. In total yards, the Bears allowed 23rd and the Saints rank 5th. So it's going to be a tough defense for this offense to go against, but I think that they can do it. The Bears do have a lot of weapons. As long as this offensive line holds and Bajan can do what he did against the Raiders, I think he can do a lot. So my three keys to the game. With that breakdown above, the defense needs to stand up to their offense, and our offense needs to run the ball as much as they can. Deontay Foreman gets you those tough yards. Darrington Evan and Rashawn Johnson get you the big yards. The ground game is what's going to help the Bears win this game in order to also open up the passing game against a tough secondary in New Orleans. And my second key to the game is for the Bears defense is to get pressure on Derek Carr. Carr isn't a super mobile quarterback like he used to be. And with sweat in the game plan, Bears are going to be tricking players. They're going to be getting out there. In order for Chicago to win this game, they need to make sure that the Saints are always guessing. And finally, there has to be no penalties done by Chicago. That killed so many drives last week against the Chargers kills momentum Chicago cannot do that that's what I'm trying to get across here folks and if the Bears avoid penalties the Bears are going to have a good chance at winning this game but with that put your thoughts in the comment section below like this if you think that the Bears have a shot at winning this game or just like it if you're a Bears fan as a whole it helps me out significantly for just by liking the video so thank you for tuning in to this episode of just another year Chicago but my name is Nick Brody and as always bear down